This is what we chant. Ordinary kids we do fearless. Achievers of society. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Guys, today I'm with Zephani. Come on, come on, come on, and our favorite DJ, DJ Robin. Yes, we're about to get into a session of praise and worship, guys. I can't wait. This is one of those sessions that I feel like when is this coming? When is this coming? But we are here now. Please get a very wide space because we're about to praise and worship Jesus Christ, guys. All right, DJ, when you're ready, we can start. All right, guys. Are you ready? Let's go, everyone. Come on, let's go. Everybody shout with me. Yes, Everybody Lord, shout with me. Let's go. Everybody shout, shout with me. me. Yes, Lord, I agree. Everybody shout with me. Yes, Lord, I agree. All things are possible. All things, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things let's go. Everybody shout with me. Yes, Lord, I agree. Everybody shout with me. Yes, Lord, I agree. Let's go. Come on, shout it louder. Come on. All things are possible. Come on, one more time. All things are possible. Let's go. I concur. I agree. I agree. I believe. I believe. Come on, this is Agree, come on, guys. I, I want to have fun. It's not possible. Come on, shout it louder. All things are possible. Are possible. Amen. Amen. Let's go on 
when we get to praise and worship him and give all our hearts and allow him be at the center of our life and of everything nice come on Wonderful session, guys. I'm so happy to be part of this. And as I always tell you, angels, angels, they were dancing with you. Very happy because you're Jesus, Jesus son, you're Christ's son, you're Christ's daughter. Awesome kids. All right, we've come at the end of praise and worship. Shout amen. amen. Yes. All right, guys, let's humble ourselves and we pray. Okay, our loving Father, we thank you for such an awesome day. We thank you for the gift of life that you provided to us. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our Mavuno teachers, Lord. And we pray, Lord Father, may you protect all of us, guide us, and lead us in whatever that we do, Lord Father. May you be at the center of our life, Lord Father. May you lead us, guide us, and protect us in whatever that we do. We thank you. And believing in Jesus Christ, our Lord, we shout. Amen. Amen. And Yay. you know, there's a lot more coming, guys. We're still having 
great fun in Jesus' name, guys. All right. Yeah. And if you're joining us for the first time, you're so welcome. We hope you have such loads and loads of fun and you learn something new today. I'm teacher Becky and with me is my friend Ethan. Hello Ethan, how did your week go? Do you want to know how my week went? Yes, please share what happened. So, we were involved in a neighborhood food drive to help out families that have been struggling since the lockdown began. Oh wow, that is so wonderful. Did you go with your parents? Yes, we did. Our parents, Stephanie and I. Oh wow, I'm so proud of you, Ethan. I'm glad you've been practicing what we've been learning. Last week we learned about that little boy who shared his two fish and five loaves of bread and Jesus was able to feed 5,000 people with that. So thank you so much for being able to reach out to those people. And you know what? We have another adventure today. Yeah! But before we go there, I want to say something about um, that drive that you had. It just shows us that you know what? It's good to be generous and share with others. It helps us practice what the Bible says in Acts 20, that it's more blessed to give than to receive. So as you bless others and give to them, then you show your respect for them and kindness toward them, showing that you're not better than them because you have something they don't have, but you're sharing and spreading God's love around. So now, Ready for Adventure is about Jesus as a little boy. One day they went with his parents for a Jewish festival and you know what? The parents went on back home thinking he was right to them but he got left behind. What? Really? Yes. How is that even possible? Well, I'll tell you. Just wait and listen in. Luke chapter 2 verses 46 to 52. Young Jesus in the temple. After three days, they found him in the temple courtyard. He was sitting with the teachers. He was listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at how much he understood. They were also amazed at his answers. When his parents saw him, they were amazed. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been worried about you. We have been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me, he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he meant by that. Then he went back to Nazareth with them, and he obeyed them. But his mother kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. It was something else. I'm blown away. It's hard to believe Jesus could do that. I know, you're right. And you know, what I love most about that story is that much as Jesus was in the temple listening to, the, to the, all the Pharisees and the teachers of the law and learning from them, when his parents came back to take him home, he was obedient and went right back home with them. So it shows us how, you know, even if you feel like you're all so grown up and you don't need any help from your parents or from all the people that help you every day, you need to learn to respect them and obey them no matter how important you feel you are or how grown up or independent you feel. So that's, that's what I think. So what do you think you've learned from this lesson today? Ethan? To keep obeying my parents, no matter where I am, who I am with, or how important what I think I'm doing is. I pray God will always teach me to do so. Oh wow, that's a very nice prayer, Ethan. And I think now we're ready for our craft. Yes, I'm ready and super excited. Me too. I know our craft this morning, just like Jesus learned all those different lessons from the Pharisees and was a great teacher, we're also going to do a little box or a little container where we place and write down different things we learn every day. And we can look at those things over time and teach others as well. 
So to make that, you need uh, something round to make a container. It could be anything you have at home. This is from a roll of a cling film. It can be a kitchen paper roll. It can be a toilet paper roll that is already uh, done. You get that. And then you need a piece of cardboard. So what you do with a cardboard, get something that is round that will make a circle as wide as um, the circumference of your container. So you, you trace out trace out that circle on your cardboard and then cut out a shape as round as this. So when you cut out that shape, place it at the bottom here like you've already done here so that it seals off the container for you and when you drop stuff in, they don't go missing. So it will look something just like this when you're done. So you get that and then you make it decorate with, with something like here you can put strips of paper or you can put little circles. I'm going to put little circles on this other one. Just give you a new idea of what you can do with your little box that is supposed to be uh, full of the stories you're learning every day. Your little container of different stories that you learn, different lessons that you learn each day. So you can put little pieces there, hearts, triangles, stars, squares, anything to make it look pretty your box of lessons or your container of lessons. So we we'll just put one more. So there you go. You can have something just like this something like that like this one or any other style that you want to have this is not all you can do so your box is all pretty and nice and then you cut out little pieces of paper like these ones over here so i have some pieces of paper in here so i'll write out like today what we've learned today we've learned that jesus was obedient to his parents even if he was feeling like he was able to stay behind and learn from the teachers of the law, he still was obedient when they came to pick him up, he went right back home with them. So I've learned obedience, you can write that, or I've learned to obey. So I can put that in today, and then I can pick it another day and teach someone else. Then we also learned about being brave. So you can say, I've learned to be brave, even when I'm young, I can still be able to speak up and help someone else like that little girl who was uh, taken as a slave from Israel she was brave and then we can also say I've learned to be generous like that boy who was able to share his lunch so you can say I've learned to be generous or to share so you write out that and fold it and place it in your little container of lessons so anytime you can say oh let's see what lessons I've learned take out something read it and teach someone else so just like Jesus he learned and he was able to be a great teacher as well so that's our craft for today um, what has our craft taught us today Ethan I think it's taught us to be able to share our lessons with everyone else so boys and girls make sure to do your craft because it's going to remind you to be able to share with everyone else the lessons that you're learning from the Bible every day and now Ethan would you remind us of our memory verse are you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. It comes from Matthew chapter, chapter 19, 19, verse 14. And what does it say? Jesus, Jesus said, let, let the children come, come to me and do not stop them. them for the kingdom, kingdom of heaven belongs to, to such as these. Well done, Ethan. Good job. I'm proud of you that you remember the memory verse so well. And now it's time to... Okay. Awesome. Go ahead, Ethan, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Teacher Becky. All right, go ahead. Yes, my friends at home, get your offertory ready. Tell mommy, daddy, your uncle, or auntie to help you. Give by using the numbers and details on the screen. And let us bow our head to say a word of prayer before we give. Dearest God, thank you for the opportunity to give back to you and do our work today. Please bless what we bring before you and use it for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Ethan, for praying. And boys and girls at home, don't forget our challenge is still on for the month. So remember, write down a listing of all the things you'd like to do to make a difference at home and get doing those things and have an adult at home or any other person that can help you take pictures or videos of you doing those very things. 
please send us those videos or those pictures on a number that's showing up on your screen. We are really looking forward to hearing from you. And now, Ethan, would you prefer us to learn to be like Jesus that we may be able to share with others what we learn every day and be an example? Please pray for us. Dear God, please help us to always obey our parents no matter who we are, how old we are, all the things we learn outside our families so that we can always do what is right in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And boys and girls, please stay tuned because coming up is quiz time. Yay! and I hope you take it away. The first question, how long did it take Joseph and Mary to find Jesus in the temple? Three days. Very good. Next one. What did they find the boy Jesus doing? They found him seated with the teachers of God's law, listening to them and asking them questions. Very right. Question three. How did his parents react when they found him and what did they say? I believe they said, um, Mary said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Their reaction as they were both shocked. I know they were really surprised that he didn't follow right after them when they left the Jewish festival. And that is so right. Now get ready for question four. What did the boy Jesus say in reply to his mother's question? Um, why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Very right. Now, Ethan, please share one thing you've learned from Adventure Story today. Have learned? To always obey my parents. Great job, Ethan. Wasn't that fun? Yes, it was. Friends at home, did you manage to get all the answers correct? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back and show your parents or guardian if you didn't. Don't despair. You can do better next time. That is so true. And you know what, Ethan, because you've done so well today, all this bowl of sweets is yours. Take a look, there's so much. There are all these beautiful candies just for you. Let me just grab them and show them off. Woohoo! This is all yours. All yours to enjoy because you've done such a great job. And you know what? It's now that time when we show our favorite moves and dance away. Don't go away! Yeah!
children come to me. Let the children come to me. In each of them I take delight. They are precious in my sight. Let the children seek my face. Let the children find my grace. From every tribe and every race. Let the children seek my face. To such as these, for the kingdom will come when, like children, we believe. Or oh, do not hinder them; let them come and dance and sing. Let the children come to me. Oh, let the children come to me. Let the children come to me. Each of them I take delight. They are precious in my sight. Oh, let the children seek my face. Let the children find my grace. From every tribe and every race, let the children seek my face. Children. 